Hey guys, it's the holidays. Hey guys, it's your boy Carl coming back at you. You know, it's the holiday season. Well, well. It's the holiday for America. It's, it's it's Independence Day, and you know I basically wishing all my subscribers, friends, family that are watching, or anybody that's an American that watches, Happy Fourth of July. Uh, you know, but let's you know let's talk a little bit. So I did. I did a little more research on the, uh, uh, what do you call it, um, my immigration uh, information. I'm just actually going through my emails right now looking for it. Uh, here we go. So apparently, this is what I found out. The last place told me I have to get my immigration for my daughter before 18. They're telling me 21. Um, so, something new that I didn't know. Um, with the application fees... Uh, it says the application fee has multiple fees... They have a few months of introverts. The total government fee cost is approximately fifteen hundred. It, uh, it's it'll wow. That's not good. Not to be paid all at once. You know you have the USCIS filing fee five thirty five. NVC stage four forty five. Medical is three hundred approximately. Green card fee is two. 25 um, for additional child or fees apply so all that's got to be paid again for my daughter um, the uh, boundless immigration only uh, offers a one flat fee of 1,100 1,149 plus 450 and a 450 um, Basically, I believe it's for my daughter, and I could pay it in six months at two ninety. Um, let me see. It like I said, it takes about this ain't thirteen and a half to fifteen and a half months. They're expecting the UFC USCIS fee to be hiked up to eight twenty. So they, you know, it's it's. I don't mean to be an ass, but I'm going to. And you know what, YouTube, if you guys have an issue with what I'm about to say, more power to you. Um, you're letting all these people cross the border. You're letting them in. You're giving them what they want. No ands, no ands ifs, or buts. You're, you're, you're giving them green cards to work. You, you're letting them do what they want to do. But when you have a legitimate person that's trying to go through the proper channels, you are basically pricing them out of the picture. Which, no offense, I think is bullshit. You're pricing them out. Because, no offense, 820 for one form, one form. Form and if they reject you, I heard with the form you gotta repay the eight twenty when if it goes up to that again to refile it. It's not like okay, well we rejected it, but you can refile up to three more times with that same fee. No, it's rejected. <clears throat> Bye. You need to pay again. I think it's bullshit. Um, like I said. It's, I was going to go off on it because it pisses me off. 
but I, I'm fine with it. Cool, cool beans to whatever, you know. I'll figure a way to get all the money to get it done. Uh, same thing I heard with like the medical exam. God forbid if you fail, you have to pay. Sorry guys, I had to uh, pause off for a minute and run. But we were talking about like the medical. I heard, for example, say you go there, you're having a stressful day and your blood pressure is high. And you don't pass. I'm hearing you have to redo it. Excuse me for bouncing out of frame. You have to redo it to get your blood pressure down and pay the fee again. So, you know, it, it's kind of crocky to me. But what are you going to do? I deal with it. I want my wife here. I want my daughter here. Um... I, like I said, I was looking at a lot of expats that are dating these girls. And they bring them out of, as they call the Providence life, where, you know, they're just making enough to go by. And they bring them into this uh, Westerners lifestyle. Then they break up, leave them, and they leave them nothing. They get nothing. Or they date them, they older, a lot older, they die, and they get nothing. You know, I don't hear any of these guys discussing, you know, yes, you know, I'm not married to her, but I have stuff to take care of her. You know, um, me, yes, I'm married to my wife. Uh, and I was on that, like, that thing too, I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever, you know, I'll, you know what? I ain't getting fucking older. Excuse the language. And I'm tired of it. I need to make sure my wife and my kids are taken care of. So I um, decided to bring her here for a little while. Uh, if it takes three years or five years to get her citizenship. Or... Um, permanent residence thing and then we apply for the dual citizenship with the Philippines uh it helps excuse me for a minute guys you know it'll definitely it definitely help because while she's here she's able to work she'll earn social security for herself my daughter will go to school here get a good college education get an American degree, um, hopefully do what she wanted, she said she wanted to do some, uh, veterinarian work, you know, we'll see, um, go from there, but they'll be working, they're putting in social security here, I would love my two oldest to come, but they don't want to, according to my wife, you know, get their citizenship, put into Social Security, so when they get older and retire, God willing that the Social Security's still around, that they'll be covered and be able to collect it, and it'll help them survive. But, you know, this was just my rant, you know, and, uh, you know, I just figure I'd tell you guys what's going on. But, you know, but the, the place I found, just so if you're uh, wondering, I found it's called Boundless Immigration. So the guy sent me a very nice thing. He actually have a follow-up that's going to be in uh, August. Because that's when I think I'm going to wind up uh, doing it. But, you know, we'll see everything that goes on. So, guys... This is just a little short one. I want to thank you all again for subscribing. For all my uh, American subscribers, happy 4th of July. Don't take advantage of the 4th of July. We are the most freest country in the world. Stop complaining and bitching about it and going with all this bull crap that's going on in this country right now. If you guys want to learn about another country, go. Visit it. Stay there for a short time. 
and see how much privilege you have in the United States and how well you're off. No matter what color, race, creed, sex, whatever you are, go and find out. So if you see a, a, a military guy, be good to them. Be good to the police officers, the firemen, the EMTs. You know, there's bad apples in every bunch. But, you know, a good portion of them are good, kind people. But till I see you guys again, like, subscribe, thumbs up, it helps. Share me with your friends. And like I said, till I see you all again, happy 4th of July. Have a great day.